Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. I'm a third year law student in New York and usually my videos are more about law school, becoming a lawyer, things like that. But today this is a what I eat in a day. I did one I think like two weeks ago or so and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So I did it again, but this time I filmed it on a Sunday. And on this Sunday, I will tell you, I have never been lazier. I really didn't move all day. The only times I got out of bed were to eat and make food. And I did laundry, like, but that's really it. I didn't do anything this Sunday. I'm really not proud of it, but I did. And that's God's honest truth. So I'm filming this little intro and I'm going to do clips throughout the video. So it's not just a voiceover sort of what I eat in a day. I enjoy those, but I think more of you guys like this style where I kind of come in every now and again and talk. So we're gonna jump in to breakfast. change outfits throughout this video because I spilled approximately half of that cup of hot coffee all over myself. So I made that coffee, folded laundry, spilled the coffee all over me. So then I wanted to make a new one because didn't get to drink it. So instead of just making another regular coffee, I made one of my Four Sigmatic coffees and I've been drinking the Four Sigmatic coffee latte one, which is so, so good. This video is actually sponsored by Four Sigmatic. So thank you to them for sponsoring it. If you haven't heard of Four Sigmatic, Four Sigmatic is a company that utilizes the power of mushrooms in their food products. So like their powders, they have powdered coffee, lattes, non-caffeinated beverages like hot chocolate. Then they also have like focus shots, which you've seen me drink. They have beauty powders. So they really have a range of products. And a common misconception is that the powder doesn't actually have coffee in it, but it does. It actually has about 50 milligrams of caffeine and it has coffee and it's 100% organic coffee. I've really been liking the coffee latte one the most because you can make it like a latte. I mean, I guess you could really make anything like a latte, but this one I heat up some nut milk, usually coconut milk because you guys know almond milk is not my jam. Heat it up and then I just pour this in, you mix it in and it really tastes like a latte, but it does have like a little bit of a nutty flavor. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it tastes exactly like coffee. It does have a little bit of a nutty flavor, but it kind of tastes like if you've ever had maca, in my opinion, like they kind of taste very similar and it's a neutral taste. It's not like an offensive taste and it's naturally sweet. So you kind of get that energy boost like a midday latte or I had it in the morning this day without going and having like a 40 gram sugar coffee, which I also do. I'm not against doing that because I do that all the time, but it's a nice balance. If you're looking to relax, they also have a hot cocoa sort of drink. It's cacao, but we're just going to call it cocoa for the sake of me not having to say cacao 800 times. It promotes good sleep, it promotes relaxation, so it's good to have at night. And finally, just to talk about the focus shots because you've seen me take them before in vlogs, they're really amazing. They're like a five hour energy, but natural. And God only knows like what's in these energy drinks that I drink all the time. I'm sure they're really, really awful for me. But these ones are all natural, organic. They're made out of superfoods and fruits. This one tastes like pineapple, mango, coconut water sort of blend. And you know, I'm not sitting here on screen lying to you. It really does work. It's amazing. You know, the first time I drank it, I was like, okay, it's all natural. How much could it really do? No, it really does work, but you don't get those crazy jitters like a five hour energy or a Red Bull will give you if you haven't really eaten that day. These are great. 
So if you guys want 15% off your Four Sigmatic order, you can just click the link below and shop right from there and you will get 15% off. And I'll have like a screen share on my screen or on your screen right now because the website's really cool. You can go shop all and then you can sort it by what you're looking for. So you're looking to be productive or energized or relaxed, you can sort it by that. You can also sort it by diet. So if you're keto or you're vegan, whatever, you can sort the products that fit your specific dietary needs because not everyone can have everything. And then for the purposes of the drink, if you're looking for something to calm you down, obviously you're not gonna then order coffee and then be awake all night. So after my coffee, I ended up making lunch around like 1, 1 1.30. And I made this amazing Trader Joe's Mexican style street corn, which is so, so good, you guys. I knew it was gonna be good because it just looks good. But I can't even describe to you how much better it is than I even thought. It has these like creamy um, frozen chunks in there and then when you microwave it or saute it, they melt and it just makes the corn like so creamy and delicious. Then I just heated up some Trader Joe's pre-made chicken. It was like the rosemary lemon one. It was really, really good. And just topped it all with some arugula to get some grains in. I love arugula. And it was great. Jesse even liked it. So we had a nice healthy lunch, which was good because usually Sundays I behave like a garbage truck. Like I'm a garbage can on Saturdays and Sundays. I got my freshly meals in. I always get them on Sundays. So these are the ones that I ordered this week. The only new one that I'm trying is the super pesto veggie pasta. So we gotta go put all of these away, but I just wanted to show you. I'll have my link down below like I always do. Kind of bleak looking options in here right now because all I have is my freshly. These are Jesse's eggs. My uh, focus shots and then just like some random drinks and yogurt but I usually go grocery shopping on like Tuesdays now it just happens to work better for me than Sunday I'm gonna be honest I did eat half of one of these things which is like a serve it's like two servings so I made four of these little mini loaves. So yeah, in the effort of being completely honest, I did eat two servings of this and it is really good. It's almost kind of like salty, which is a little strange, but it is really good. And you can tell that it doesn't have, it's not as like processed as maybe like Betty Crocker or something. It is really good though. So it's only like 4.30 right now, probably eat dinner around six. Okay, I'm back. I had to quickly stop filming because Peach got upstairs and I thought she was going to get outside. She's an indoor cat if you are new here. <laughs> That's why her treats are now in the background. For dinner, I ended up just having what my parents made, which was pasta with some sauce and rolls. So I had an all-carb dinner, so it's better that I had at least some protein for lunch because usually it's carb city. And it was good. It just like goes to show like my diet really is not specific. 
I said this in my last video, but sometimes I eat really healthy. Sometimes I don't eat healthy at all. This day I happened to eat pretty balanced. You know, I had some vegetables, had healthy lunch. Dinner was just some carbs. It just varies. And I'm not going to like not eat pasta because I'm like, oh my God, it's all carbs. Like I can only have chickpea pasta. No, I really eat anything. Okay. It's now like 7, 7.30. Let me just look at my watch. It's 7.30. I'm gonna have one of these superfood beauty mixes. You saw my other what I eat in a day. I had one of these. I have them pretty often now. They're really good. They just kind of taste like a berry fruit punch in my opinion. And you guys know I love to drink like seltzer or different types of juices at night, but this is like a healthier alternative. And I like to drink it out of a wine glass because it makes me feel fancier. So you just fill your glass up with about like six to eight ounces of water. I mean, that's what I do. I like it best with like ice cold water. So I would either take water out of your fridge or, you know, from the faucet, whatever, just cold water. The other one that I like to have at night is the cacao mix that I was talking about earlier. But since I've had so much chocolate already today from that pumpkin bread, I'm just going to do this. And if you guys want to try any Four Sigmatic products, just make sure you click the link in the description box and you can get 15% off. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. I'm going to try to do these more often. I actually am thinking of doing a What I Eat in a Week because I feel like that'll give you a better view of my diet because I eat so many different things and it's different every single day. So let me know down below if you'd want a What I Eat in a Week video. I'd have to like really plan for that and go grocery shopping and stuff. So we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. It really does help out my channel. Subscribe if you are not. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.